Hello everyone, today we'll be building URL shortener. So we will short our URL links and use them inside our web browser. And to do that, we'll need only two libraries, dependencies that to be installed inside, of course, node.js. So to start it, we need to run our terminal and inside our terminal, we need to initialize our node application. The next step is to install dependencies. So npm install express also crypto we will need that as the second one. Okay. We install it. Why it is, it is installed. We need to create new index.js where we'll provide the whole code. First of all, we need to import our required modules. So it will be const express equals require express. The second thing that we'll need to do is const crypto equals require crypto. And right now we are ready to go to build our application when we just got our express and crypto imported. Then we need to initialize our express. So const app equals express. And also we need to something to parse the incoming JSON payload. So we will just parse the JSONs that we as a user will provide to the API, oh, sorry, application. So app.use and here we'll just create express.json. Okay. Also, we will create some kind of in-memory databases of URLs that will be temporary. You can also use the real like a MongoDB that like we do a lot of application with MongoDB. You can use MongoDB. Right now we'll use in-memory database. It's a old fashioned map. So to do that, we need to cons URL database equals new map and that's all. Okay. Also to generate that URL shorteners, we need some kind of random strings. That's why we are using crypto to create it. Of course, we can create the randomize in, by, by ourselves, but when we can use some kind of helper function, so kind of, some kind of module, we should use it when we are building, of course, such an application. Function generate id and we'll return crypto that random bytes six that's the size of that and we'll make it to string in hexa and that's all and right now we need to create our app that listen listen at port 3000 and we'll console log server is running. Okay. Right now we save it. And right now we need to create our endpoints. First, we'll create some kind of post endpoint that will provide us a endpoint where we will shorten our URLs. So slash shorten. Also, we will need request and response to do that properly. First, we'll just create const original URL and it will be request body and we can call it, we can save it inside, for example, URL. <laughs> no, 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 here, just URL. Okay, the next thing, if we'll have that link, so if there will be not original URL, we will return something like 400 status, 400 with an error, with an error, 
that will be called missing URL. Okay. And also, if some everything will be good, we will get the generated ID and he will create it right there, right here. Okay. The next thing we will we'll set the ID that we created inside our temporary in memory database. Remember to use it only in very, very small application that you would like to test something like I do right now. When you would like to use MongoDB, for example, you should, sorry, not MongoDB, that, but database, you should use something like MongoDB, SQL, NoSQL database, whatever you would like to have. Okay, so right now we'll set the UID and original URL. And the last thing that we'll need to have is rest.send, we'll send back the ID that we have from our generated ID token. Okay, and last thing that we'll have to do is app.get and we'll get the ID. What for will we like to have? I will show you because response, so request and response we need over here. And right there, we will create our shortener URL opener. <laughs> so to do that, first of all, we need to cast an original URL and it will be get, sorry, URL, the database that get. And right there, we will need request that params that ID that we've got over here. So to do go to get that ID, we need to get inside the params. Okay, and if original URL exists, so we will just redirect to original URL. That's why we need that ID. And if not, we will send status 404. Send, send status and it will be our 404 status that not found and everything is good and we are ready to go to run launch our application and to do that we need to write down note inside our terminal index.js wait a second and that's be all for that episode i hope you enjoy it and that's how we build very easily and fast our URL shortener that you can create by yourself. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, leave a like, subscriptions, and if you have any ideas, leave them also in the comments. See you in the next episode. Bye.